Hi guys. We are at the Egyptian Museum of Antiquities in Cairo, right downtown. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of a later start to the day. We checked in about noon, 1 p.m., so we're just starting our day now. Um, we're going to make our way to the Cairo Tower and the Khan El Khalili Bazaar after that. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit of shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Museum's right behind us, and then you can also see the tower like right behind that as well, which is super cool. Really close together. Yeah, it's all pretty and central, so it's easy. We walked here from our hotel, and it was really not busy downtown. We're starting to get used to how to <laughs> cross the streets, and really, you just have to go for it. Yeah, it's so. a little hectic. You feel like you're going to get hit by every car that passes, mm -hmm. but you just got to trust it and go for it. <laughs> was absolutely incredible. It was just filled with so many unique pieces in there. There's like two floors and they're just packed. Like, mm -hmm. like thousands and thousands. It's it's hard artifacts. to believe. You look at them and you're just like in awe at what you're looking at. It's, we spent about two and a half hours there. Yeah, I'd I say believe. at least. Um, yeah, so if you do decide to go carve out a solid three hours, yeah. I would say. If you actually want to go through and look at everything. Mm -hmm. And we read a lot. Honestly, I think we might have even missed a couple artifacts. Yeah. But um, cost? Was 450 Egyptian pounds each, which is about $20 Canadian. Mm -hmm. Just under. Super reasonable. Yeah. Um, we went to the Cairo Tower after and it ended up being way more than we thought it was going to be. They had posted prices and sure enough, they had some alternative options for us. So. Mm -hmm. We ended up turning around, leaving, and we just went for dinner. So we just, yeah, saw it from the bottom, took a couple pictures, and then decided to keep going. Yeah, and dinner was Phenomenal. incredible. We mm -hmm. just kind of stumbled upon it. It was called Nile City, and it's an old steamboat that's floating in the Nile. It's docked like, permanently, as far as I know. Yeah. And there's three levels, three different restaurants on it, and a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And we went to the Egyptian barbecue to get a little more authentic Egyptian food, and it was so good. Yeah. Delicious. And cheap. Yeah. I think we spent $35 with a 30% tip on everything and we had a lot of food. Mm -hmm. So like the prices here are just, it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. Um, we are going to Khan El Khalili Bazaar still tonight. It is crazy busy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear the honking or not, but uh, yeah. it is hectic. Yeah. So we're going to go really check the bazaar yet. out. And, uh, honestly, I think we'll probably walk there because it might be faster than getting an Uber. Yeah, honestly, it's it's probably going to be quicker. Our Uber on the way back was a little longer than we thought. It was supposed to be like 14 minutes waiting and drive, and it was like 50 minutes. Yeah, it took a while. For all of it them. was It's so busy right now in downtown Cairo, so we're just going to walk it, I think. Mm -hmm. So we'll go check it out. We'll see you guys there. Yeah. Okay. 